What's up, Lawn Care family? This is Vic from Quick Cuts Premium Lawn Care here in Conyers, Georgia. Well, I had a subscriber that asked a question. He was like, Vic, could you show me how you make your routes using yard book? So that's what I'm about to do. I'm gonna show you how I came up with, or how I, how yard book, how you use yard book to do the routes for your customers. So let me go through this process of adding a customer. What you do is you add your customer, and I'm just gonna say customer six, and I'm just gonna come up with a random address. Hit save. And if you see my other videos, how I go to the actual property and use the software on Yardbook to come up with my price based on the square feet. But this time, what I'm gonna do is show you, you just add job, click on the plus job. You can put a description in the box. I uh, you normally know, put my prices in the box um, based upon um, the measurements. You can also click whether or not you wanna set up reincurring or you uncheck the box um, you can you know just do a one-time cut so I'm going to add it to today's date I saved it now I'm going to go over to click on the left hand side where it says jobs hit jobs and as you can see I have a test group of customers Right here, customer one, customer two, customer three, customer four, customer five, customer six. Okay, what you wanna do is now hit on the icon here. It says route. It's not in the right hand corner, but it's over to the right slightly and you'll see it. I'm hovering over it right here. You click on it, it'll populate a map. Right here, you just need to add address and as you can see it's pretty much doing it on its own and what you want to do is I typically have a, a area where I know that I'm going to start I'll put that information in there for example a lot of time I start at my storage unit now on this page right here you can, I'm going back to my schedule page you can actually add a job from your scheduled job page you just hit right here where it says plus job and I'm gonna make my start I'm gonna say start and end my start is gonna be where my storage unit is And I'll just go ahead and save it. Go back to the route. So I'll find that star spot when I want. This is my start, add it in. Boom. What you can do is click on it and drag it to the top. It becomes A. Now I know that that's where my start position is. My A is where I go get my truck, ready to go. Now from here, I can dictate how I want to take my route. So for example, if I want to start where C is, if I want C to be the next place, as you can see on the map, if I want C to become B, I just click on it, drag it to the top, boom. Now it's A, B. Now say if I want to go over here to G, all I do is find G, make it C, drag it to the C position. And I want to take this one and go to C, make C. So I got A, B, C. I want to take this position right here, where's G, drag G, make it, take it under C, boom. And then I want to make the next one C. What's that letter right there? So A, B, C, D, you want to make G, because you have G, you want to make it E. Boom. Now, 
A, B, C, D, E, and change to F. G. Now, if you notice right here, this tells your miles and this also gives your time. How long is it going to take you to do this route? I sometimes click on this optimize route button. So I'm going to do it now. And what it'll do is it'll come up with the best route it figures. And sometimes it's right. Uh, but most of the time I don't use it. So I'm going to click on it and see what it comes up with. Matter of fact, I clicked on it and it stayed the same. So it didn't see anything that could be changed in this manner. So what's cool about it, fellas or family, you can email your route to yourself. Put your email in there, send it to you. And what it'll do is give you a list of the actual um, route. And what you can do is you can click on it and with your mobile phone, it'll go to a um, the actual, let's say, let's say for example, you got Google Maps or some form of way of navigating um, with your cell phone. The cool thing about it is if you have a, um, a iPhone, a lot of times people believe that you can't download the app for um, Yardbook on an iPhone, but you can. Basically what you gotta do is you gotta contact them and tell them that you, you want to use their beta. And what they have is a, um, a software that they're testing and they'll give it to you. And it's been working well because I have an iPhone myself. I don't have any problems with it. But it's some things that you can't do. But the simple things that you typically need, like the route, being able to see the customer's name, click on the name, call the customers, all that information you're able to do with the app, even with your, um, your iPhone. Now, if you have an Android, you're good to go. So 100%, I'm Yardbook all the way. I'm using the free software. I recommend that you do the same, especially if um, at this point in time, you know, you don't have a whole lot of customers. And I don't see why I would want to do anything else other than Yardbook at this point in time in my business. So hopefully this helped on how you um, actually come up with your route or select a way of doing your route. Because if you're doing it any other way, man, I think you're working too hard. This is an easy way. It's very simple. You saw me go through it. You can see it, you can eyeball it. And also what's so great about it, at the end of the week, you can figure out how many miles you um, rode and you can figure out how much gas you spent. So miles and gas, you can come up with a way of coming up with a figure of how much gas you're gonna need per week based upon your miles. And then also your time, figure out how much time did it take um, when you're on the road. So that way you can come up with a better route system if you know these properties are close to other properties um, that you're doing during the week. So hopefully this helped out. Um, if you got any questions, Anything you would like for me to um, teach on when it comes to your book, please put it in the, um, down in the, uh, what you call it? Down in the comment section. Sorry, had a brain freeze. So please put it down in the comment section and then I'll see what I can do in teaching some more. Because your book, man, it, it has so many things that you can learn in it and I couldn't possibly begin to tell you all of it. But if you can give me an idea of what you want to hear, or what I what you want me to talk about, I'll definitely do it for you if I can. All right, so as always, lawn care family, cut on lawn care family, cutting on, and I'm cutting out. Peace.